good afternoon guys um, so I've been hunting around the internet just trying to find if anyone has done a whir video on a range of golf grips and I can't seem to find one so I thought that I would take the opportunity to uh, try and develop a machine uh, which will wear a golf grip fairly quickly um, by a mechanical action and I will then get a series of grips from different manufacturers including our own Tour Fit brand and put them through the test to see what difference if any difference at all there is between brands and then also what difference there is between materials because some grips are made of rubber some grips are made of rubber cord some grips are made of polymer and some of the polymer grips tend to wear out fairly quickly unless they have the, the newer glass fiber version uh, the older version tended to wear out you know within within six or nine months 12 months if you didn't play regular golf very sticky and tacky but didn't last very long so the idea of this video I'm gonna do a short series on them here how to make the machine some bit of trial and error and then and then putting the various grips through the machine putting them through their paces it'll not be massively scientific but it'll be very interesting uh, if you want to follow along uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get started here and uh, see what the machine's gonna look like so what I've got myself here is a 200 watt uh, electric motor, 12 volt with a throughput for this axle so the axle will, will secure through here with a, with a uh, 4mm roll pin and this will be driven here by this universal controller so we're going to have a potentiometer wind loom control box and a few connectors so we're going to mount this on on this board and the idea will be that this axle will be able to, to rotate a, a wheel or a disc of some description with an offset uh, tube which will allow for a linear motion um, you'll see it later on in the video uh, so we can create something to create a wear action back and forward on the golf grip here is I've cut a piece of angle iron and we've drilled four holes one here one here two there as a, as a mounting plate um, we'll probably need a third one on the top but we'll get this mounted onto the board here and see see how that looks This is where we are so far. So we have mounted the uh, mounted the motor on this on this piece of angle iron bracket. And um, I think what we might need to do is to support this third mounting point from the outside here. It feels very stiff at the minute, but we might have to to do that. Um, 
once we get the once we get the the, the um, axle up and running. So you can see that the axle has a a hole here. Uh, there's a hole. We could just get it on the motor there. Um, it's hard to see, but that's where your mounting point goes in. So um, we'll, we'll get the electrics get the electrics wired up here shortly um, so we can get the motor running off a battery and uh, see what that looks like and we'll come back at that stage so what we've got here is a control box so we're going to mount this <coughs> to screw somewhere around here uh, we've got a 12 volt autobri connection for the battery uh, we have a five pin loom and we have a two core for the motor um, this is your your loom connects in here like so the other end of this loom will connect into our speed controller um, and we have a bullet connections here for mounting the for mounting the motor wires to the motor controller so let's get that done That's the system wired, and you can see from the this dial we can control the speed of the motor. So you just got your power going to the motor. That can be reversed, so we can change the direction of the motor. And the battery connection on here, and our our control box on here. So we're going to tidy this up a little bit, and then we'll come back to the next next part. So this is what we've got to so far. So we have the, the box mounted. Uh, we have the loom with our potentiometer to control the speed. We have put uh, a number of clips, just uh, cable ties actually, just up the, the side here to hold the cable in place. Motors mounted. I've gone ahead and cut the axle uh, to length. Put the three mil uh, roll pin. You can see that it's hammered down through the the axle to hold the axle in place. We need to design a mechanism, a rotating mechanism to come off here so as it can then wear the grip um, which will be mounted onto this part. And we'll get all this tidied up and, and cleaned up and we'll do all that in part two. So follow along and we'll get back to it in the next video.